Good morning guys, Snow Castle Cats here, it's the 30th of May 2021, I hope you're all keeping well, today we've got two cats out in the garden, little Roxy here, she's so timid, Roxy you're so timid, aren't you, eh? She hasn't been out in it here for a few days. Come on, girl. She's a bit timid. And Vanity, Roxy and Vanity, gonna have a nice time in the garden. So we've been super busy this last few days with my job of Nui's catering. She does uh, Thai food catering and cooking lessons. And obviously with the cats super busy so unfortunately with the kittens that we had we've only got one surviving kitten from this latest batch so to speak if you can call it a batch but you know this latest breeding session we've only had one survive which is really sad and um, I'm gonna post some videos of that one surviving kitten uh, probably over the next few days. I think me and Louis both need a couple of days to you know, get past it and focus on the other cats and focus on the one kitten that we've got left. Unfortunately, unfortunately uh, Brittany's kitten didn't uh, survive. Uh, it didn't thrive. It just um, faded and died. But we've got one kitten from Fluffy um, so that's a positive. Both mums are well, so that's a positive. And as for anything we do in life, you know, any hobby or any endeavor or any project or any job or any life that we have, there's always gonna be highlights and low points. And maybe having the low points help us to enjoy the high points even more so. Um, and yeah, on Snowcast Cats, there's a lot of positive, great videos. Well, we think, I think, I try and make them positive and great. Um, you know, just daily vlogs. But um, sometimes they're not always going to be, you know, the most fantastic ones. Joyous, joyous occasions. You know, out of all my cats, I've got seven cats. Seven big cats on one day. They won't be here, you know, one day they'll pass, which will be a, a sad time on the channel. But the sad times on the channel should be very, very small compared to the hundreds and thousands of good times. So that's what we'll focus on. So over the next few days, um, look out for some videos of the remaining kitten. But in the meantime, we've got these other guys to focus on and you know not to not to forget you know not to forget to appreciate these guys being a cat breeder has its ups and downs and any other breeder out there I don't know if there's any that watch my channel or not um, but any breeder out there that sees this will know that there are ups and downs <laughs> Fluff is on the inside there. Fluff has come downstairs. Yeah, th there's ups and downs, but I think the thing that keeps breeders going is that the the high points kind of make up for the bad points or the sad points. So things like the cat shows, having kittens that thrive and do well, seeing those kittens go to their new home. That's fantastic, it's such a happy time for us. I mean, the first couple of litters we had, it was really sad to see the kittens go. There was a few tears before bedtime, but on the, on the future litters, after about the second litter, it's one of our favorite days when their kittens go to their new home because the excitement of having a family come and pick up the kitten and taking the kitten and within 24 hours saying, 
this is a fantastic kiss and we can't believe how well she's settled in he's fantastic she's fantastic and you know telling us what a difference that that cat has made to their life it's really wonderful and and we've been quite lucky we've been very lucky with the families that we've we've had come and buy our cats and i think part of that is my youtube channel but as i've said before in one of my other videos don't forget there's many great breeders in the uk and i don't consider myself to be a great breeder i consider myself to be a learner um, but there are many great breeders they maybe haven't got a social media presence as such probably Facebook but they may not have a YouTube channel because it can be quite technical the YouTube channel in, in, in respect of learning what to do and it changes and you have to keep updated but anyway I'm waffling now but yeah what I'm saying is uh, there are a lot of really good breeders in the UK and around the world and an opportunity for people to have a British short hair cat. So anyway guys, it's been a good chat today. Um, these two cats are gonna stay outside uh, for a few hours. Uh, and then after they've had some fun in the garden, some fresh air, I'll put Toby outside for a few hours. Um, and maybe, yeah, the rest of the cats can come out from which around. And that's gonna be our day, guys, other than feeding the cats and and uh, relaxing. So have a great Bank Holiday weekend. And as I say, I'll post some, some videos of our remaining kitten in a, in a few days. Take care, have a great time. Say goodbye, Roxy. Gosh, she's a beautiful, look at those eyes. Catch you later.